Hello children, I hope you all are fine by the grace of God. Before starting this lesson, I just want to give you informative information of worksheet 3. Children, we are ready with worksheet 3. Ask your parents to come and collect the worksheet 3 so that you can write down your notes in your CWs of lesson 1, general question answers and some of the points of grammar. So we are in lesson 2, name of a lesson. The Potter's New Donkey. So I am going to recapitulate some of the points of this lesson. Here you can see a potter, an old donkey and a ragged boy. So with this you got to know that the potter was shocked to see this ragged boy. How he came? Let me give you some more points. So, the potter's new donkey. Whose donkey? Potter's. So, we are using over there apostrophe S. If something belongs to someone, then we should use apostrophe S. New comes under what? Adjective. Donkey is a noun. Potter is also a noun, children. They once leave a potter in a village. He was a very simple fellow. So, every Friday, every Friday a cattle market was held at the, some distance of potter's village. So he went over there to purchase a new donkey. Why? Because his donkey was getting old and weak. So he decided to purchase a new don donkey. Then wh what happened when he purchased? He before purchasing, he examined. If we go to a shop to purchase some cloth, then we examine the cloth. In the same way, he examined many donkeys over there. And he purchased a strong and healthy donkey. So, after purchasing it, the potter was back to his way, means he was going to his home. The potter used to have a nap at the noon evening. So, he was habituated to take a nap at the time of noon. So, he was dozing. What he was? He was dozing. The old donkey. He was dozing on the old donkey. On old donkey's back. So, when he was dozing, the two clever boys saw to whom to the potter and the healthy donkey. So they did some tricks over there and they re one boy removed the rope from the donkey's neck, new donkey's neck. In this way something happened over there. So when he reached potter, when he reached to his village, let us see what happened. So he was surprised to see a rag boy. R-A-G-G-E-D. Ragged means what children? Wearing old and torn clothes. So he was wearing old and torn clothes. Who? This boy. He was surprised to see this boy. And he asked, Who are you? Cried the potter in surprise. Where is my new donkey? Who is asking this? The potter is asking to whom? To the ragged boy. Sir, it was I who was your new donkey, said the boy very politely. Please listen to my sad story. Who said this? The ragged boy said to whom? To the potter. I was not a good son. I used to be very naughty and often play trunt. I never did my lessons. So he's Saying his story to whom? To the potter. Meaning of played trunt. Remained absent from school without permission. I never did my lessons. My parents became fed up with me. Fed up is nothing but what? Tired, bored, unhappy. They prayed to God to change me into the donkey. To change me into a donkey. God granted the prayer and truly be I truly become what it became? Donkey. I had four legs and two long ears. I started eating grass as donkeys do. My kind sir. Now who is kind here? Potter. My kind sir, may I know go back to my parents? Now he is taking permission from whom? From the potter. Who is taking? The boy. My kind sir. How he requested? See. My kind sir. May I now go back to my parents? 
how sad my mother would be for me then what happened but how have you changed back into a boy again then this pot potter was asking asked the poor asked the surprised potter sir my mother remained very sad for me she prayed to god to change me back into the boy god granted her prayer when you were leading me to your home here see listen when you were leading me to your home kind sir please let me go now kind sir please let me go now see how prettily is uh, requesting request matters children you should request someone if you are in need of something request your parents then definitely you will get that thing the potter feel feel is a present tense felt is a past tense so here the potter felt confused confused is also comes under past tense but he was very kind hearted how was the potter potter was very kind hearted in my previous video i have given new vocabulary for this kind hearted can also called as compassionate he removed the rope from the boy's neck and said oh boy behave yourself in future and obey your parents and then he let the boy go let me explain you the meaning of obey to follow to listen that thing comes under obey very obedient child means what the child who listen to the parents that thing comes under obedient obey follow your parents listen to your parents and behave yourself is what have good manners children these are some present tense and past tense cry cried surprise surprised is was do did become became change changed ask asked remain remained again change has come so no need to write again children grant granted feel felt confuse confused remove removed say set pray prayed say set feel felt these are irregular verbs we can say these are irregular verbs children children i am reminding you ask your parents to come and collect the worksheet from the school and improve your reading at home